Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Deepcool Maelstrom 120EX water cooling. Okay, welcome back. Uh, another unboxing for you, this time from uh, Deepcool. Now, this is the Maelstrom 120EX all in one water cooling loop. So, without getting too far into it, let's just open the box and see what we get. So we get some foam, we don't want that. We get a instruction guide, which covers pretty much every processor you could possibly think of. So AMD, you've got AM4, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, AM2, FM2+, FM2, and FM1. So basically anything with a clip type uh, connection. AM4 has got a separate bracket, I believe, so we'll have a look at that shortly. And on the Intel side of things, you've got LGA 1366, uh, 1150, 0, 1151, 1156, etc. So, oh, and also LGA 2000. So, pretty much all your bases are covered with this. So, where should we start? So, let's start with the fan, because this actually is quite an important addition this time around. You've probably seen the Maelstrom 120 radiators on all in ones before. But you haven't seen one of these because this has only been released on the 2nd of March 2018. And this is the new RGB version. So, what we get in here is a 120mm fan, which is 25mm deep. And this is the uh, GamerStorm 12 volt model. Now, you would see there that's a clear or transparent blade system. What that means is we've got some RGB goodness in there. So inside you can uh, let the colors go wild and do whatever you want. There's no actual, well I can see, there's no way of actually controlling the RGB. So it's a, it's a kind of fixed RGB, so it's just gonna cycle through the colors. But we'll have a little bit of a look at that a little bit later when we get it installed in the machine. So I'm quite interested to see how that's gonna work out or synchronize with the other RGB elements possibly in the machine or whether or not that is gonna actually be the thing which lets it down. So that's the fan for now. So in here, this is the fixings bag. Lots and lots of fixings. So in there, you've got a couple of little screws for attaching the radiator to the case. You've got some longer screws there, which look like the ones which would mount the fan to the radiator. So that's the stuff you're gonna use all the time. Now in here, what have we got? So this is a multi-purpose bracket. So you've got AMD on one side, and on the other side you've got your Intel options. So if the if it's facing outward saying Intel, then that's the way it should be facing, and vice versa for AMD. So what do we get in here? So there is the LGA 2011 setup. There's a mixed bag there for the LGA 1366, 1156, etc. So that's the other Intel fittings. And this one here is the FM2, FM2 Plus, AM3 Plus. So that's all the AMD stuff. So where is the AM4? Nothing else in there. So let's see, how does AM4 fit? Let's have a quick look at this. So in the AMD instructions, there's two lots, so actually that is really, really simple. So for the AMD setup, or AM4 setup rather, use the normal AM3 or AM4 brackets which attach to the side of the cooler, uh, to the base of the pump, and then use the additional screws to screw that straight into the stock mounting which is attached to the back of the board. So. No need for this whatsoever for AM4 systems. So hopefully that's going to simplify things a little bit. So that's the fittings out of the way. Here is the radiator and pump itself. So the radiator, it's quite a, uh, a nice looking little unit. I don't know if that's a, uh, one of their own custom ones or whether it's copied from another manufacturer, but it still looks very nice, quite lightweight. And let's have a look at the dimensions of it just to see if it will fit in your system. So dimensions wise, we are looking a total size of, what's that? That's about 155 millimeters, top to bottom. And depth wise, 
is about 28 millimeters thereabouts. Um, that's pretty much it for this booze. Let's have a look at the width. I'd imagine the width is going to be about a 120, 125, uh, due to the fact that it's got a 120 mil fan on the front. So the actual width of it is actually surprisingly just slightly under 120. So that's 118 millimeters. So quite narrow, so it should fit in most cases. If you've got a case where you've got a slight recess where the fan fits in the back, um, top bottom might be a bit of a problem, but sideways wise, no problems whatsoever. So we've got uh, EPMD tube in there, which is supposedly anti-kink, which certainly seems to be. It seems to be very difficult to get it to actually fold over in kink, so that's a good start. We've got a three pin power connector for uh, pump power. Pre-applied thermal paste, which is always nice. And it's good to see that this paste has actually been applied in my preferred method, which is the kind of uh, full coverage rather than being the uh, rice dot. You can find out more about thermal compound if you uh, check on the link in this video up here, where I went into it in a little bit more detail and applied some myself and got my fingers nice and dirty. But anyway, I'm uh, going off topic here. So as you can see, you've got threaded screws there, which your mountain bracket attaches to. And you just put your screws in there and then those can screw down to your base. So that is pretty much it out of the box. So we've got our instructions, we've got our pump, we've, uh, so we've got a radiator, we've got our pump, we've got a nice tube in. So the next thing to do is to get this thing installed and uh, see what it's like. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so welcome back. Well, you actually probably haven't been away, but in between the last take you've seen and this take, I've installed the uh, Maelstrom 120 RGB in the machine you can see behind. Now, if you want to see the full installation video, you can click on the link up here and you can see the trials and tribulations I had, which, to be fair, actually wasn't very many and most of them were my fault, as is normally the case on mics, unboxing, reviews and how-to. But uh, it's been a pretty pretty nice experience. Now, it's currently running in the background. Now, you probably can't pick it up, but it's actually running Prime 95 at the moment. All cores are fully maxed and it's currently running at about 70 degrees. So, we're roughly looking at the same kind of uh, cooling performance as a Hyper 212 or the Gamax 400, but that definitely looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. Uh, I personally, I quite like liquid cooling. I've got it in my other machine as well. This is the first time I've used a, uh, a deep cool uh, water cooling solution, and I've been really impressed. The actual, the fixing mechanism to get the, the base plate actually onto the motherboard and all the bits in between has all been really good. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed, and it's gonna make life a lot simpler for changing things like thermal paste, etc. It's a nice and easy solution. So, um, again, if you want to watch the video of how I installed it, click on the link up here. I find this to be a really good product. If you want to have a, have a go at installing it yourself, click on the link below, and I'll put the uh, description and the latest price in the description box. Oh God, words is hard today. But anyway, the price of this at the moment, which I probably haven't mentioned, I'm not sure if I did or not, because I've done about two or three videos about this, but this at the moment is retailing on Amazon for $54.99 with the RGB version. There is uh, older versions of the Maelstrom 120, which you can pick up a little bit cheaper. So if you're not keen on the RGB look or you've got your own fans and you want to add those to it, you've got the flexibility to do that. You can add any fans you want to it. They include the RGB 120, but you can use pretty much what you want. So you can put a Noctua in there or you can get another uh, sort of cheapy RGB off of Amazon with a remote control and knock yourself out. Anyway, I find this to be a really good buy. If you want to see the links, again, look in the description below. I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. And this has been the pretty excellent Deep Cool Maelstrom 120EX RGB. Thanks for watching.